I've just completed an audiogram and I thought I'd share with you the results and explain what the actual findings mean. And if you look on the picture here, this is what we call an audiogram. It's a record of the hearing loss of the individual. And we've got the right ear and the left ear. And basically the audiogram has two axes. The horizontal axis has frequency, so low pitch, middle pitch, high pitch. And the same on the other ear, which is the left ear over here, low pitch, middle pitch, high pitch. And the vertical axis is a measure of the intensity of the signal required for the client to just hear the signal, their thresholds of hearing. So on this scale, it actually runs from 0 dB, which is normal. I'll explain that in a minute. As you can see here, 50 dB, and down here, 100 dB. So these are the intensity levels that the client requires in order to just hear the signal. So when we do a test using headphones, which I showed you in an earlier video, we determine the thresholds and we record them on this chart, which we call the audiogram. For the right ear, we use circles. And what this resu result shows is for the right ear, for the low frequencies, we've got thresholds that are pretty good. But as we move up the pitch chain into the mid and high frequencies, the hearing drops and it's at 50 decibels, dropping off to 60 in the high frequencies on the right ear. On the left ear, we have a similar picture where we've got better hearing in the low frequencies, falling down to 50 dBs in the mids and 60 dBs in the highs. Now, the thing to remember about testing with headphones, which tests remember the integrity of the whole hearing system, the outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear, is that we are basically comparing the client with normal. So when we say that the hearing level at, for example, 1000 Hertz is 50 decibels, that means it's 50 decibels worse than normal. And normal is considered to be zero. Now in practice, and I'll show you in a minute on another chart, we do actually allow a range of normal. So rather than it being an absolute figure, what we do have is what's called a range of normal when we're doing a test of hearing. And the reason for that is quite simple, that during the test, people's concentration might waver a little bit and they might get a little bit distracted. So provided their hearing level is between 0 and 20, we accept that as being a measure of normality. But anything worse than that, and we basically are of the opinion that there is a hearing problem. So this particular client's air conduction thresholds show us a moderate to severe high frequency loss in both ears. We've got other tests to do that we'll um, explain in a minute in a subsequent video, in particular the bone conduction testing, and that will help us to figure out where the problem lies.